Hi, my name's Ruan and this is my channel, The Yorkshire Sew Girl. I have finally got round to sorting out my double gauze video. I know I've been talking about it for like the last two or three weeks, but my goodness gracious me, when I started investigating double gauze patterns, it's blown my mind, basically. And I've gone down the biggest rabbit hole since Frugal Frocks last year, um, where I'm literally like, oh my, there's so many patterns, there's so many patterns, I want to make them all. Um, so yeah, I thought I would come on here, talk to you just a little bit about the research that I have done. So there's a big caveat here. I have not sewn with double gauze loads. The reason I'm doing this video is because I have struggled to kind of think why I want to make with double gauze. The only thing I've made with, with it so far, as you probably all know, if you've been following my channel for a while, is some pyjamas, which are the most amazing pair of pyjamas I've ever owned in my whole entire life. I have got quite a few bits of double gauze now in my um, stash. So I've been thinking about what I want to make with it. And I know a lot of people struggle with this um, because people are scared, scared of double gauze. We're scared of it. Double gauze, what do we do with double gauze, people? So I've decided to just write everything down. I will be looking down here. I've got, no I've got notes, people what's going on with me right now and I've also got my laptop here so I will be looking because I'm just there's that many I need to have a record of them all if you know what I mean and then after each segment I'm gonna have to cut off and then come back after I've got them all back up on my laptop shall we start off with what is double gauze this is my latest double gauze that I got out of my so Hayley Jane box which I absolutely love with the little gold stars on it so double gauze is basically two pieces of like an oven weaved cotton stuck together. So I'm in here and you won't be able to see this just yet, but if you've got some in your stash, you can actually on some of them pull them apart. Oh, let me see if I can. Oh, I can see. So can you see there is two layers? One, two. And what they do apparently my research um i'm not an expert if you can see that there look so they're split in two is intermittently there's a very very teeny teeny almost invisible stitch to hold it all together and that's what gives it it's almost cloud-like fluffiness <laughs> but i think what's amazing about gauze double gauze is that it can be quite cool for the summer but it can also be really snuggly for the winter so it, it's very versatile <clears throat> I have got quite a few bits and, and that is why I've started doing this. But I kind of wanted to understand a bit more about what double gauze was about. So that's just a little introduction to it. Anyway, tips for sewing with double gauze. Okay, pre-wash it. It's got a tendency to shrink people and nobody wants to make a dress, say for example, in a size 16 and then it turned out to be a size 8. Nobody wants that, not after all our hard work creating a garment so pre-wash it secondly iron it only if you want to don't have to i mean i've washed this this hasn't been ironed and it's supposed to be crinkly so you know the suggestion is iron it only if you want it to have that look so only iron it if you want it to kind of look not quite as crinkly that's the other side look but if you want this texture do not do not iron it. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you're like really lazy like me, just don't do it. Um, but you just need to be aware of what you're going to do with it after you've made the garment and you're going to be washing it. It needs to be like for like, if that makes sense. Apparently it frays. It frays like nobody's business. Nobody wants frayed edges, do they? So, I mean, you can overlock it if you've got an overlocker. If you haven't got an overlocker, you could um, do French seams or flat felled seams, that would look really nice and actually give a bit of structure to your seams because obviously double gauze is very flexible. And for that very reason, um, a lot of people have talked about using a walking foot as well. Now, when I made my pyjamas, I didn't use a walking foot. I suppose it depends on your machine and when you do a test on your fabric, but you can use a walking foot. Um, use really good pins, you know. I've just actually ordered some silk pins that have just arrived oh bad lighting um 
because I keep snagging on some fabrics. So I've bought these in the hope that they will actually work. And I'm thinking actually with my double gauze, they might come in quite handy as well. And stay stitch. So stay stitch your necklines anywhere where you don't want there to be any bagging out. Well, nobody wants any bagginess at the moment, do they? So you don't want your basically your pieces to stretch. And then when you're trying to construct your garment, they're all over the place. And you think, what have I done wrong here? And it's not because you've cut them out wrong. It's probably because you haven't stay stitched them and they've all stretched out everywhere. Places to buy double gauze everywhere. Oh my golly gosh. I have seen the most beautiful double gauzes in the last week or so. It's like, it's like since I've been doing research, you know when you buy a car and then you just see that car everywhere? Since I've been doing research on double gauze, that's all I've seen. There is the most incredible fabrics from Fabric Godmother. If I can, I will insert some photos. I'll, I'll put you over this way, look, and then there might be some space. Um, they've got some, Josie's got some um, like children's print ones almost, like baby type ones. She's also got ones with these beautiful spots all over them. Ones with little embroidered flowers and then one with like paint, spl paint splashes everywhere, which is my actual favourite. Hey So Sister has just brought out a range. I think there's four colours of double gauze with embroidered flowers all over. Now, a lot of double gauze, you'll see there's the odd embroidered bit here and there, but, but, but daisies all over it. Oh, that's beautiful. Again, I'll try and put a picture in. Um, who else was there that we looked at? Felicity Fabrics, they had some animal print double gauze. Hello. Obviously, I'm going to like that one. And so much more. They had ones with gold dots in as well, which I think a lot of people have seen. I've actually got a piece of that. Um, and ones with like really small little white daisies on it. But that's just a little tiny snippet of people that have got them. There's just so much beautiful stuff out there. So go ahead and buy if you haven't already got some in your stash. I'm going to do this in categories. So I'm going to do tops first. OK, now this is the section that I've got the most in because if you're like me, I like to make tops more than I do everything else. Um, so just bear in mind, I could have put 50 patterns in this section, but I haven't. I've done two, four, six, eight, ten. OK, what I've also tried to do in each section is if you're a bit skint right now, which some people are, it's February, we've had Christmas, it's hard times, um, and you've got double gauze in your stash, but you don't want to spend a lot of money on a pattern, I've also sneaked in the odd free pattern here and there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to kick off. So the first one, on my last video or the video before, when I talked about um, double gauze, loads of people put suggestions underneath as well. So thank you for that. And feel free to put all of your suggestions down here for everybody else to have a good read through because there's so many. If you are struggling for inspiration, wowzers, when you get into it, it's blow your mind stuff. So the first one is the Friday Pattern Company Sage Brush Top. I'm going to keep pointing like this all the time. I can't help it. Um, that comes in sizes um, XS to 7X. Another thing to just quickly mention, I've tried to be as size inclusive as possible in the patterns that I have chosen. Um, there's quite a lot of patterns out there that don't have that size inclusivity. So I've tried to steer away from them. There's the odd one or two in here, I do apologise, but the majority of them have got really good size range. Um, they, The Friday Pattern Company Sagebrush Top goes from a bust of 32 to 60, waist of 24 to 53, and a height, height, hips, everyone, of 34 to 63. And I've seen this sagebrush top um, made loads online. If you go in, check it, uh, Check the hashtag on Instagram. You'll see how many beautiful versions there are. A lot of them are in double gauze. So it's got puffy sleeves, short sleeves. It's got a little tie at the back, which is done with binding, I believe. It's got a, a yoke at the front and the back, and then it's got the optional beautiful frill. So that's a good one. I'm going to whiz through these, though, by the way, because there's so many. OK, next. Oh, one of my favourites um, is the Closet Core Calais shirt. Now, I have made two of these. This is also a dress pattern as well. Quite a few of these are tops and dress patterns, people. Um, I have made this, um, but only in like cotton lawn or cotton poplin. And my next make when I make this Calais is going to be in double gauze. So this is a really versatile pattern. 
Um, it comes in sizes 0 to 32, which is a bust of 31 to 60, waist of 24 to 53 and a hips of 33 to 63. And it comes in loads of different versions. So you've got the cropped version, which is what I've made already, a tunic version and a dress, dress, dress version. I haven't had a drink. Um, you can do two different types um, of, what's the word? Like gathering at the back. Um, you can do different button plackets. You can do a hidden one. You can do um, just a standard button placket, etc. And it's really nice because it's got like capped sleeves with like a tiny little um, cuff almost on it. It's, it's lovely. I love it. And I love the curved hem on it. Um, I've done, yeah, the crop version. I've had to lengthen them a little bit due to my height. But I'm thinking I'm going to go for maybe the dress version in a double gauze and then wear a belt with it in the summer. I think that would be really nice. Yeah, maybe. That was number two. Right, let me get rid of these as I'm doing them. Oh, number three is the um, paper cut patterns array top, which I've been going on about for ages and I have purchased because I just love it so much. And the reason I love it is because every time I see it, I've seen it in double gauze. Now, I think a lot of patterns for double gauze, if you've got big sleeves, it works really well. It's got drape to it, but a little bit of structure as well. It's really weird. Oh, fluffy air. Um, the good thing about the array top pattern is that it comes in loads of different versions as well. So it is sizes 6 to 20. So bust of 30 to 46 and a half, waist of 32 to 39 and hips of 32 to 49, which doesn't seem the most inclusive. However, it's got loads of ease in it. So the finished garments actually go up to a 53 and a half bust, a 52 waist and a 55 hip which is a lot better so when you kind of look at the body measurements you think mm, yeah it's not too good but when you look at the finished garment measurements there's loads of ease in it so i do think it is quite inclusive in that regard now i'm looking at my laptop because you can do it in a top version you can do it in a dress version you can do it in these really big sleeves you can do it in like blues on blues on sleeves i don't know is that even a word probably made it up big big puffy sleeves long sleeves and then you can either do it with an open hem or like a bunched hem. And then you can also have a tie that ties around the middle and cinches your eye in if you want to. I don't know which one I'm going to make, but I'm definitely making one of these. I think it's on my Mate 9. I'm sure it's on my Mate 9. So this is going to happen this year, people. I keep going on about it, but it's actually happening. Okay, so there's the array top. And I've tried, when I've pulled this together, I've tried to look at as many diverse patterns as possible so that they're not all the same but like i said there's just so many different ones out there it's ridiculous so yeah next one is the chalk and notch wren now i kind of dismissed this when i first saw it and then i've seen so many gorgeous versions and again this is one that goes from a top to a dress as well Oosh. it goes from sizes 0 to 30 the bust is 32 to 56 Waist 25 to 49 and hips of 35 to 59. And the good thing about this is they do it in cup size as well. So they do an AB cup and a CD cup, which is great for people. I never have to worry. I don't have the biggest boobies in the world. But I do know a lot of people don't like to have to do full bust adjustments, etc. So this comes in super handy. So yeah, this is beautiful. I mean, it's got button down the down um, the front it's got a lovely scooped neckline and I think that's the thing that draws me in really um, it's got um, the dress has got like a dropped waist with a little gathered skirt I'm just reading off my uh, laptop here um, and it's really loose um, around the waist and hips and then it's got the dress version it's got like a little frill along the bottom it's gorgeous basically I haven't got this pattern but I've got a feeling it's going to happen at some point I will not buy any more patterns until I've used the ones I've got. Honest. Okay, next. Oh, yes, the next one is the So House 7 Remy Raglan top. Now, some people might have had this free recently because I do think it was free with a magazine. But when I looked at this online, there were so many beautiful versions and it's really, it's a really simple make by the looks of things. And I think that's good sometimes, particularly if you're starting off with double gauze. Um, it would probably be quite a good pattern to kind of try to start off with and um, that comes it's it's a uh, raglan sleeve obviously um it comes in short sleeve three quarter sleeves long sleeves which is really nice and it also has an option to have like a split front which is quite cute split front with like a little button here 
so I like the look of that one. Um, that goes from size 0 to 34 and that is a bust of 31 to 61 and a half, waist of 23 and a half to 57 and hips of 34 to 65. So I think that's a good one. Again, dress and top bonus. We love that. If you've only got a small amount of double gauze in your stash, that's what I was looking for because I've got, I think I've got a couple of pieces that are quite small. I was thinking the True Bias Ogden Cami would be perfect for this and gorgeous for the summer, really nice and lightweight. Um, this comes in sizes 0 to 30, bust of 32 to 57 and a half, waist of 26 to 50 and a half and hips, how many times can I say height, of 34 to 59 and a half and they do it in um, two different size ranges and one's with spaghetti straps I think and one's also with thicker straps you know just to cover your brow straps because sometimes you know it's a really simple pattern it also has a, a lining for inside to cover the bust and that you know where your bra is going to be um, I think that is actually drafted quite short and I haven't got the biggest boobies um so whenever i make it i actually adjust the length of the um facing inside to the lining to make sure that it's a little bit longer so that you don't have a ridge you don't have a ridge across here nobody wants that do they but that is a really lovely simple pattern that you can make over and over in loads of different types of woven, woven fabric but i thought particularly if you haven't got that much fabric that would be a beautiful um pattern to make and another one Another one that you wouldn't need to have too much um, fabric for is the Friday Pattern Company Square Neck Top. I love this pattern. I have printed it out. It's ready to get stuck together. And I'm going to try and do that tonight while the hubby is not here. Um, because I like the fact that I, I think you'll be able to make this out of very little fabric. Um, and it comes in at two different varieties. Uh, one is for knitted and one is for woven. So you get the option of both which is spot on in my eyes. Um, it comes from, it sizes, sorry, uh, XS to 7X, um, bust 32 to 60, waist 24 to 53, hips of 34 to 63, and this also comes in an AB cup and a CD cup. It's very cropped. I probably will lengthen it because of my height, obviously with me being five foot nine, otherwise I'll be showing my belly and nobody needs to see that right now. Um, but what I like about this is a really simple pattern and I love the square neck um line of that i think that would be really spot on if you don't have an awful lot of fabric and talking of square neck tops there's also the um jennifer lauren now i don't know if i'm saying this right aisling blouse aisling blouse mm, not sure that comes in sizes 6 to 24, so not as large as some of the other ones. Um, bust of 29 to 47, waist of 24 to 42, and hips of 35 to 53. The good thing about this pattern is it does come in A to D cups. So again, from a bust perspective, you wouldn't have to do any adjustments, hopefully, because you'd be able to adapt it. Um, it's got lovely square neck, it's got bust darts, and then you've also got the option to put a collar on it as well um, and I've seen a few versions and it looks really really sweet and then it's finished with a long sleeve a long poofy sleeve you know one of them a bit like on the end of my lyra here it looks like it's finished with um, elastic I have actually got this pattern um, again because it came free in a magazine so quite a few people may have that and then if you are looking for some freebie patterns because you're not going to spend any money at the moment um, I thought there was two really good ones with the Peppermint magazine, um, one of which is the wrap top. So I'll put some pictures in again of that. This is a really cute pattern. Um, it's quite loose fitted. It wrap rounds, wraps around at the waist. It's almost like a woven version of the new Tilly and the Buttons pearl um, cardigan top. Um, and that comes in sizes A to J, um, bust of 30 to 52 and waist of 24 to 46. Now, it doesn't have hip measurements and that is because obviously it finishes at the waist. So they don't put that on there. Um, so that's a good one. And the other one, which I have got, and again, I've printed out and I've cut the actual pattern out. So I just need to get my budding gear is the Peppermint Magazine Paddington Top. This blouse is just, it's just beautiful. 
Now this has kind of raglan sleeves as well um, and it has like um, short sleeves with like little cuffs on so it creates a really nice poofy sleeve and I think that would look gorgeous in double gauze. And on the back there is also, it's button backed so you have a button placket on the back um, so you can make a really nice feature out of that. Although I do know a lot of people have kind of just added a little bit extra, cut the back piece on the fold so they don't have to worry about that or they haven't even bothered to do buttonholes, they've just sewn the buttons through the placket because you can wang it on over your head. So that's a good one, isn't it really? What do you think? So there's tops. I'm so sorry that I'm flying through this at a rate of knots, but I'm already on 20 minutes and I've still got loads to go. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna load up the rest on here and I'm gonna come back to you in one second. Okay, I'm back. I've set up my laptop with the dresses. Let's do dresses now, people. I've already done 20 minutes of footage, so let's let's get this done because my phone freaks out if it's anything over 30 minutes and it takes me about a week to try and download it all. Come so professional, who knows what I do. Um, okay, so the first dress for me that I picked out, again, there's an abundance of patterns. These are just the ones I've picked out, was the Closet Core Charlie Captain. Now, I think this is beautiful and I think in a double gauze would look stunning. I'm very tempted to purchase this pattern to make one for my holiday because I think this would just look stunning. And the good thing about this is you actually get quite a few different versions on this one as well. So let me do sizes. It goes from a size 0 to 32, which is a bust of 31 to 60, um, waist of 24 to 53 and hips of 33 to 63. It comes with a really nice V-neck, um, V-neckline, um, short dolman sleeves, and it has like a little inset centre panel here, which I think is really cute. And you could always use that to your advantage, um, maybe doing a bit of colour blocking or something. Um, and it's got pockets as well. Woohoo! Um, it has really nice pleats underneath the bust on view A. Um, but then for a more softer, it says romantic dress. View B's and C's have just got like a gentle gathering underneath the bust with an optional waist tie to actually cinch it in as well. So a lot of these dresses that I'm picking out are quite loose fitted dresses because I think it suits that type of fabric and in the summer, etc. But you can cinch a lot of these in with a tie, which is awesome. Um, and it also has um, a really wide sleeve or like a um, slightly higher cut one to give you a little bit more coverage as well. So you get quite a lot of bang for your buck on that one. Um, the next one is the Megan Nielsen Olive Dress. Um, oh, I don't think the other one does have a little centre panel in the front, does it? I can't remember now. Maybe it's this one that I'm thinking of. But the Megan Nielsen one is a top and dress as well the olive dress which is spot on that comes in sizes 0 to 34 it has a bust of 32 to 60 a waist of 24 to 52 and a hips of 34 to 62 so you get like um, a top version with cap sleeves and a little um, panel here then you can do a long sleeve version as well and then you can also do a dress where you just have the um, gathered skirt attached and I think this would look really nice in like some of the pictures are in like a striped fabric and you could mess around with how that looks I think that'd be a really nice loose one I had to put this in here I mean there's loads of Tilly and the Button patterns that would suit um, double gauze in fact I've just seen someone make a Lyra out of double gauze and it was chef's kisses amazing and I would never have thought doing that one but the one I've picked is the indigo dress and that's because I've seen lots of people make it in this you can again this is in a top isn't it and a dress um and what I like about this is with the double gauze because it has you can have obviously your long slim sleeve but you can also have one with a frill on and I think that would look really nice so obviously the skirt is um attached through gathering and, and the top is and you can have an exposed gather um, which I think would actually look really cute in double gauze. Um, it's a really nice, simple pattern and I think would look great. Um, they come, it comes in sizes 6 to 34. Um, that's bust of 30 to 60, uh, waist of 24 to 53 and hips of 33 to 61. Again, it's like a buffet dress, so loads of ease in there and I can just imagine floating around in the summer in one of these. Mm, be beautiful. Now, next up, I've had to put this in again because of seeing so many beautiful versions online. Um, 
this isn't as size inclusive as it could be. I think it should go up even higher. Um, it comes in sizes 34 to 52, um, bust of 31 and a half to nearly 46, just under, waist of 23 and a half to just under 38, and hips of 33 and three quarters um, to 48. But I think this pattern really lends itself to double gauze. Um, I've seen some really beautiful versions, particularly in the tiered um, version. So there's two options, one with just one tier and another one with two tiers. And again, you can either have the um, plain um, cuffed uh, sleeve, it's not cuffed, sorry, hem sleeve, or um, a little gathered poofy um, sleeve cuff thing. Beautiful. It also has bust darts and um, what are they called? They're called fit? No, not fisheye darts. I don't know which ones they are. Under your bust anyway, to cinch you all in. And then it's got like, um, for people that haven't seen it, which you probably have, it's got like, um, I think you call it a granddad collar, don't you? Which comes down with a button placket here at the front. I think that would be so deliciously comfy, that dress. Let me turn my page. Okay. Right, the next one is um, a pattern by Made by Ray, um, and it's called the Trillium pattern. Now, people may have heard of this before as the Washi pattern, but they've changed the name of it. This is stunning, and I think in double goals would look gorgeous. Um, it is sizes XX, XXS to 5, so it goes up in things and then goes to numbers. Very strange. Uh, bust 32 and a half to 59, waist 26 and a half to 51, and hips of 34 and a half to 59. And I think this would look delicious. So you can do this in a top version as well. What's nice about this is on the dress version and the top version, it has a bit of shearing on the back. On the front, it has like a tiered um part to it underneath the bust and then there's two different necklines you can have a scoop neckline or you can have this really nice neckline that comes down like scooped and then it has another little dip in it here and I think that would look really really nice you can do it sleeveless or you can have a cap sleeve so again top and dress pattern you're getting more for your money but I think that is a really beautiful pattern and again one that may go on my list as does everything go on my list but anyway um, right, another pattern, I've got this pattern and um, I got it free on a magazine, but you can purchase it as well. And I'm definitely going to make this in double gauze for the summer. Um, it is just such a loose, flowy dress and I think it would be really, really nice. And that is the Coca Wawa Plum Dress. Now that is um, sizes 6 to 24. So again, not the most inclusive, um, but because it's so loose, I don't think you'd have too much of an issue with it, hopefully. Bust of 31 to 48 waist of 23 to 41 and hips 31 to 49 and again this is really pretty you can have it where it's cut off and you have like a little frill here again you'll have photos up tiered skirt um at the back you have um a little button placket as well with buttons and you can have a longer sleeve version of that as well i just think in the right fabric that would be stunning and just so comfy for the summer beautiful dress like that slip on some little gold sandals, little cross body bag, hat, shades. Who do I think I am? I don't dress like that, by the way. <laughs> I'm just saying what I've seen. I've seen stuff like that on Instagram. It looks brilliant. I wouldn't wear that because people are like, what are you wearing that for? Eh? Crazy lady. Anyway, um, second to last is the chalk and notch fringe dress. I don't have this pattern, but again, I've seen so many people making it and it's beautiful and it looks so good in double gauze. It's just stunning. Um, that goes in sizes zero to 30, uh, bust of 32 to 58, waist of 25 to 49, and hips of 35 to 49. And this has bust cups as well. So it has an AB cup and a CD cup. And what I like about this one is it's a little bit more closer fitted on the top. So again, tiered skirt, but you've got two views to this one as well. So I'm looking over here just so I get it right. So one view has a button up front, elbow sleeve and sleeve tab. It's right cute. So it's got like a little tab that goes on it. I like that. And view B has a pullover notched front with a cuff. And they both have two cup sizes 
optional waist ties and the sleeve cuffs are interchangeable. So again, quite a lot for your money. And if you go on Instagram, you will see people have made this in double gauze and it's really, really beautiful. Last but not least, if you're after a free pattern, um, I was thinking probably one of the best ones for this would be the Mood Society Amaryllis dress. Again, I'll put images in. This goes from sizes 2 to 30, um, bust size 32 and a half to 58 and a half, waist 24 and a half to 49 and a half, and hips from 34 and a half to 63. And what I like about this is that it's got panels, so like princess seams down the front, and it's actually a, a wrap top as well. So it's like a almost a faux wrap top because then it's um it's in a gathered skirt underneath it with um short sleeves. And I just think that would look really, really pretty. I like the fact that it's got like the princess seams in it because I think you could do a bit of fitting to make it a bit closer fit on the top and then beautiful and baggy and just I can eat a whole buffet and not, no one would know this kind of dress. You know what I'm saying, don't you? Okay, that's that done. Next up, I've put um, jumpsuits. Now, people always say to me with double gauze, oh, you have to be really careful because if you wear, if you make bottoms, bottoms, you may struggle. Um, so I haven't done a lot of, I haven't put any trouser patterns in here. I've put jumpsuits in and I've put skirts in um, because I found some jumpsuit patterns that I thought would lend itself really nicely to double gauze. And I think sometimes when you're wearing a loose jumpsuit, hopefully you wouldn't have too much bagging out, you know, at your backside and your knees. You know what I'm saying? So the first jumpsuit pattern that I found is obviously the Paper Theory Zadie jumpsuit. Again, I'm crushing on this one and I'm going to have to get it. But I think double gauze would look beautiful in this. Very similar to the last pattern I showed you. Again, crosses over. Um, it's in a size 6 to 28, bust 31 and a half to 56, waist 24 to 47 and a half, and hips of 34 to 57 and a half. And I think it will be gorgeous in a double gauze. I've seen a couple on Instagram. Um, and I like the fact that you can kind of tie it at the waist, to cinch in your waist, but then you've got really nice loose bottom and it's kind of loose up the top as well. So I think that would be a really nice one. And then two freebies for jumpsuits, people. One is the peppermint jumpsuit, which comes in sizes A to K. Um, now I've put the finish measurements on here because um, I thought it gave a better reflection of it because it is a really nice, loose jumpsuit so the finish measurements go from 31 and um, a quarter to 53 inches on the bust 35 and three quarters to 56 on the waist and 41 and a quarter to 60 so I just wanted you to see that actually there's quite a lot of give in that pattern and I think it would look awesome on all sorts of different body shapes it's a really really cute pattern it looks like it would be really simple to make as well and it's free so why not give it a go? And the other one, which I love, is another Mood Society one, and it's called the Fern Jumpsuit. It comes in sizes 2 to 30, um, bust 32 and a half to 58 and a half, waist 24 and a half to 49 and a half, and hips 34 and a half to 63. And how cool does this jumpsuit look? I love the details around um, the bottom of the leg. I love the fact that you can tie it up. Oh, I love this pattern. I don't know if it's a bit too funky with me. I'm not so sure if I'll be able to carry it off, but I'm literally in love with it. And again, it's free. I mean, come on now, people. Let's do this. Freebies galore. Boom, we love it. Skirts. Okay, let's get on to skirts. Three skirts that I've got. Um, I've got the Helen's Closet Donovan skirt. Um, that comes in sizes 0 to 34. Uh, it's got a waist of 24 to 52 and hips of 33 to 62. This is a lovely, simple, looks like a really easy skirt. I think I've seen this on Tamlin from Sewn on the Tine. I think she made a double gauze skirt. I think that's where I got the idea from. And I think this is just a really cute, simple, easy skirt to throw together with a very small amount of fabric if you want to go short. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's the True Bias um, Maeve skirt, 
that's beautiful and it's tiered and I think again in double gauze would just look beautiful. That comes in sizes 0 to 34, waist of 26 to 50 and a half and hips of 34 to 59 and a half. And again, you can do this in different lengths as well. So you've got a couple of tiers or three tiers, I think it is all together. And it just looks so comfy, but also quite cute with like a little vest top tucked in. I think you'll love it in that. Um, another one that I really like the look of was the So Liberated Estuary Skirt and that comes in sizes 0 to 30. That's a waist of 25 to 48 and a half and hips of 33 and a half to 57 and this looks lovely. So it's got a waistband, it's got a um, button placket right the way down the front which I think looks really really nice. It's a nice um, sized skirt that, that doesn't sound right but it looks like it's got a load of ease in it and it looks like it'd be really comfy and those big deep pockets I mean come on it looks delicious doesn't it it reminds me a little bit of another freebie which is from the peppermint magazine um I can't remember the name of that one now but it's one of their skirt pa patterns but it doesn't have the button pluck it down the front um very similar to that and I've seen a load of them on Instagram as well it looks great a free pattern um, for a skirt is the little pomegranate Sabina skirt, which is delicious. And that goes from sizes 6 to 30. That's a waist of 25 to 51 and hips of 34 and a half to 61. I think you may have to join her newsletter to download that one, I believe. But that's really cute. Again, it looks like a really simple dress to make, but it's got like a little frilled panel on the bottom of it and... I think in double gauze that would look really cute as well. Just have to be a bit too bit careful with your gathers. You don't want it to be gathered too much, otherwise it would stick right out. You want it to kind of lay quite nice. Um, but I think that would be a lovely one. And last but not least is loungewear and PJs. And you know my love. You know my love of these. There's, again, um, a few different patterns for pyjamas. Well, there's not a few. There's tons, isn't there? Let's face it. Um, but I think if you want to do a fancy pants pair, you kind of want the um, Closet Court Cowling Pyjamas, which are size 0 to 32, bust of 31 to 60, waist 24 to 53, and hips of 33 to 63. Um, they're just gorgeous. And I actually think in a double gauze, these would look really, really smart and so snuggly as well. So I think that would be worth doing. I think a lot of them have the piping. I don't know how the piping would look. Maybe it would give actually the double gauze a bit of structure. I'm not sure. But if you want some fancy pants pyjamas, there you bag. Another pair of pyjamas, which I thought which are completely different to those, is the Tilly and the Buttons Fifi pyjamas. I liked these because they're a lot smaller. They're more like summer pyjamas. I mean, they're a little bit too tiny for me. I'm not so sure I'd wear them, but you know, some people would want to wear them. And they look so pretty. It's just a really pretty pattern with the really cute short shorts and the little strappy, like almost bustier type top. It's just gorgeous. Um, that comes in sizes one to eight, bust of 30 to 44, waist of 24 to 38, and hips of 33 to 47. So I think that's quite a nice one because it's complete contrast. But there are a couple of free patterns as well. One of which, obviously, I've already made. And that's the Peppermint Magazine loungewear set, which is gorgeous. Now, for some unknown reason, I haven't actually written the sizes down on this one. Rude. But I'll put all the links down below in the description box for you to be able to go and explore yourself anyway. This is just such a gorgeous set and it whizzes up in no time whatsoever. I've made it in one of my So Haley Jane um, double gauze fabrics and I will be making it again. I think in the pink fabric with the little butterflies on that I um, have had from So Haley Jane. I think that's going to be one of my pyjama sets for this summer. I like the short version. I actually adapted the short version to have a little tear along the bottom because I didn't want them to be too short. But you can do them in almost like a three quarter length trouser as well really simple top and i think that would just look delicious it would be really nice actually to have the three quarter length version maybe i need to do that next time and the other thing that i saw recently is the elliam mac classic adult pajamas freebie and comes in loads of different versions as well so i mean the world's your oyster with that pattern and it's for free why not sizes xs xs to 6xl um, bust 32 to 62, waist 26 to 63 and hips of 32 to 63. So really good size range on that one as well. Um, and you can do it as like a night shirt and you can do it as actual two piece. And uh, 
it's absolutely brilliant and it's unisex as well so i mean come on you're getting loads for no money with that one i'm very aware that i've taught a hundred mile an hour but i was trying to get this video under 40 minutes and i think i might have just done it um, there's other things as well. I was going to do outerwear and all sorts. I've seen some beautiful robes that you could make in double gauze, um, short robes that you could wear out, longer robes that you could have for dressing gowns. I mean, honestly, I could have gone on and on and on forever. I could have included shorts. I could have included trousers, but we'd have been here until December 22. That's not what we need right now. So I had to put um, everything together to try and reduce it. But all I will say is I've gone from thinking there wasn't really that much out there to make double gauze to thinking, how am I going to even fit any of this into a video? So go and explore it. Use the hashtag double gauze on Instagram, um, Google double gauze patterns. But, you know, if you want something as a start for 10, then hopefully this will give you some sort of idea. Um, don't be scared. Let's not be scared. Let's not be scared of anything we haven't done before. Let's just go for it. Let's just do it yeah probably cut that bit out don't know why i started singing but anyway let's just do it let's not be scared i'm not gonna be scared anymore i'm just gonna do these things let's just let's just do it i'm gonna go through my stash right now dig out all of my double gauze and i'm gonna make a plan for each and every one of them not saying i'm gonna do actually complete all of this plan but i want to have a look because now i'm excited because i've got quite a lot of these patterns and i'm thinking well what is stopping you exciting so yeah that's it like I say, everybody, put all of your ideas downstairs. Downstairs. Down below. Downstairs. Ugh. I haven't had a drink. Kind of makes me think I need to have a drink uh, to get my words to come out straight. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been a bit of a whirlwind. I do apologise, but otherwise I'd have had to do it in about 100 parts, you know. I hope everybody's well. I hope you're all getting some time to sew, and I'll see you again soon in my next video. Take care. Bye.